She can sing her ass off. And to go... Alicia Keys the other day, and she hits that big note in uh, in New York. He's like, "That's my mommy." It's like everybody, <laughs> uh, everybody that hits a high note, it's like, "That's my mommy." Here in New York, New York, New York. Bold, kind of confident female, and like sang really well, and I felt could also. Yes, I'm excited. Don't be. Oh my God, you sound beautiful. You look amazing. It's great. I'm going down, cause you went around. I happened to be an Aaliyah fan. I love her voice, and I think I thought the songs she was singing were Aaliyah, and um, I think she has a big place in a lot of people's hearts. Um, she really just impacted music in a different way, and a lot of times I'll even listen to Drake, and he has her same exact si singing patterns, and for him to be a male and for him to be primarily a rapper, that's just so amazing how she could even, you know, affect the way that he does his music. Um, is it let me know. Let me know ah, ah, ah. Let me know, let me know Let me know Not the loudest and it's not the, you know, oh my God, you have to sing like Whitney Houston every time you get. The best singers in the world move. And, and that comes from all different sounds and styles. So like from a singer to a singer. It's beautiful what you do. And I love your record and I, I love big huge songs, but I love singing your music. It, it means something and it moves people. So don't ever negate your gift because it's powerful. I think her voice is very unique. Her tone, her just her approach is just very smooth. And she reminds me of a little bit of Sade. Great, uh, great gowns, beautiful gowns. I'm sorry for this dating. Taylor Swift. Oh, you don't have to be sorry. I love know. Taylor Swift. I love her as a songwriter as, as well. I've been watching you, wow. and every time you've rehearsed today, I was like, I'm blown away by the way you control and the way you sing. I think you, you have a very, very unique and very special talent. Thank you. I wish you all the best. Y'all better be doing the background. Oh, no, and it's all because never give any move. But standing at the water's edge. Brandy on their best day. That's what I mean. Yeah, and this brand new world might be a fantasy. Newcomer Jennifer Hudson, who has the most beautiful voice at the time of my life. Yes. Listen to the tone of that voice, y'all. Tone, power, delivery, execution, passion. Control. She delivers her heart in the center of that voice. Spirit and sing it, yeah.
good voice. All right. Mary's real. Mary comes from the heart, from the soul. I can't stop this. I can hear it in her voice. I know she has, wherever she's come from, she's come from one point to get to the other. And there is experience there. There, there is depth there. There is there's pain. There is there's joy. There's a lot of things. I can hear it in Mary's voice. She changed the game with her unique sound and that Mary J style. The Thank you for pouring your soul into every track and giving us a song for every feeling. Paul Abdul ain't shit now. One thing, Paul Abdul ain't shit. Mommy, that girl is singing off key on the record. Give it to people. These amazing powerhouse voices. She absolutely destroyed it. She killed it. I, I, I texted her after. I'm like, what is your range? Where are you singing from? <laughs> like, you're, where is this coming from? It's just amazing. I, I'm so... Uh, yes, please. Of Bang Bang. Yeah, so she literally just came on stage. We hadn't rehearsed, no sound check, and she smashed it. She did. Oh, so. <laughs> on Saturday Night Live, she was singing this ballad like a big woman. And then I saw her on Good Morning America. Oh. No, you can say that. Oh. We love singing her. this little girl, she captured my my ear. Really? so much of Jojo, who has this incredible, powerful voice, and I looked up to her so much when Me I was growing too. up. So I think you did really great. Thank you very much. I have a lot of them, but most of it, Kelly Clarkson and Jojo, because they do a lot of stuff that's really hard. And so whenever I hear them do that, it makes me want to do what they do. You just say Of course, she's a very good singer. She's kind of impressed me as someone that Broadway might be calling uh, and or a pop recording artist. That was the way uh, she impressed me, really. <laughs> I mean, because I was in, before that, I was into the Spice Girls and stuff like that, and they can't sing, obviously. You know, I know that now. You think about me, like I think about you, like I think about you. Think about you. Do you sometimes stay awake do not, you? till the morning? Do you? That little girl can sing her face off. Yeah. I mean, she's phenomenal. But touching a Patty song I, was a whole lot of nerve, though. Yeah, but she got the voice to do it. Yeah, she did. See, a lot of people shouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs>
artist. She was about, I don't know, 12 years old, and she had this big voice. And I was like, wow, you know. Today's music, you've done the best rendition, rendition of Run to You beside myself. I thank you very much. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, I, I do like to listen to, like, I love Christina Agu Aguilera. I mm -hmm. love her song. I love her voice. I love her tone. And Beyonce. There's so much that you just don't see, but if you would only take that. Your head voice is like legit oh, my fave. You're so sweet. It's so pretty. I'm just Because she's not unbelievably talented. She's not beautiful. Major star. And she's not really a great, great singer. She's not really a great, great actor. Not a cry that you hear at night. It's not somebody who's seen the light. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. When Aretha sings, you don't stand there and try to compete with the Queen of Soul. You revere her and don't be doing ad libs and trying to like riff it on out with her. No. up to uh, amazing incredible singer so classic and timeless I think she has the most beautiful voice in the world she's like he hates it yes. but I think yours is so special you know so beautiful gorgeous instrument and with a great heart and sensitivity that it just makes me proud to sing with you um, and I she's one of my favorite vocalists of all time um, no, I, I There are rivalries, but I don't think she has anything to do with me. I mean, my whole thing is singing, writing She's songs. An yeah, and you know, I've been doing this, you know, my whole life. Singing is the, is first and foremost. It's a God-given talent that I'm grateful for. Her thing is something different. Do you ever fear the? A duet? Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure how that would sound. the best vocals we're not a plead the fit this isn't no, plead no, the fifth. Is... i mean pink pink's phenomenal she's Here. got it she's got great pipes and, who do you and, still... and she can flip in the air while doing it yes I mean, that's pretty phenomenal who do you still keep in touch with of that group so today? many people that you know get up and dance and they can dance and they can sing but she does both really really well um and she can do all of those things with her body and doesn't miss a note you know so it's just right. all very beautiful and classy I know I really love Pink's voice and Britney always. Like, no joke. She, she's so strong. She's a gymnast and she's so elegant and singing yeah. all at the same time. I know how difficult that has to be. So <laughs> I'm, I have so much respect.
good word. singer, good singer. <laughs> but I just love her. I think she's so talented and so great. I just love that I've always been a fan of like big female vocalists, you know, like that big voice and and uh, you know, ever since Annie Lennox, you know, she's just such a throwback voice, you know. It's so beautiful. It's unlike any other voice. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on that one. I don't know what she sang. I didn't know she sang. I thought she rapped or whatever. Don't beg and complain. She's singing her fucking face off. It's incredible. Um, simultaneously mean that she is a vocal bible to a lot of people and myself included I mean there's she's she has so much range and so much depth and there's so so much ill stuff going on in in their brain and their throat and it's in her heart so it, when it comes to sheer vocals and standing up every time and just being like a I, I, I'm gonna give it to Brandy she has a different kind of skill Yes. You no, know, and I'm just gonna be on. No, really, she she really really does. Um, her her ability to hear certain things and be able. Have you ever heard or paid attention to Brandy's background vocals? Well, <laughs> <laughs> can, can, can I just offer you this? Brandy's voice feels like silk. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes, like singing, singing was and trying to learn how to do runs and just play with my voice. Like, who else Who else do you listen to? You know, who else do you listen to? Who else do you even, like, I mean, you have like, you go into like the gospel world and you know, go things like that. But as far as- Your favorite Brandy song. Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me want to sing she sings so she's one of the best you. singers i ever heard in my oh life my God. I love she's so voice. young and so nice and so sweet and such a talent she's probably got she has a she has the best female vocal uh in pop music today wow. i would say she's There's something coming from you no she she has literally the best voice best voice live she kills it i mean she is so good and i got to hang out with her is just like melts it's just so soft and pretty and I'm um, and I just think she's amazing I think she's incredible yeah the song when the world is a menace hope is the she really was the one that inspired me to take voice lessons because I was like I want to sing like that all girls who aspire to were definitely influenced by Whitney Houston. And that's something that nobody can deny. Part of, of this Whitney Houston soundtrack. I mean, I love Whitney. She's my favorite female vocalist in the world. Um, and when I saw the roster of other female artists, it, it was... When she came on, we were all crying because she's not only singing her soul out, she's singing her heart, her soul, she's transparent. She forgets about performing. She's into the song and the joy, the pain, um, She's, she's an incredible performer. I mean, she was the greatest. And, and 
I mean, huge inspiration to every vocalist out there um, who wants to become a singer. But I was blind, but now I see. I know it was love. I was nobody but you. Can you say it one more time? Amazing praise, how sweet the sound. talent, definitely a talent. She had a gift. And Sissy's baby. Just think of all the days of me and you against the... Great performers have a sounding style that is all their own. And that's why so many people love Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce yeah. who can sing and entertain um, ich liebe Beyoncé. Beyoncé ist fantastisch. Sie komponiert gute Songs und ist... energy, she has stamina, she knows how to sing, she knows how to yep. move, and that little heifer you could put on stage for two hours and yep. that would be a two hour show. Yep. Straight. Yep. She knows how to do it. I mean, you know, if you in it, you can that I saw was absolutely terrific. She actually, no one could have done Proud Mary better. Mm -hmm. She looked, she really is, and she can sing, and she knows, she knows what she's doing. She's a hard worker. That's what I really like about her. Mm -hmm. She's a hard worker. You can see it in her presentation that she has put some time and energy into it, and she's got plenty of that. Yeah, do you think Beyonce a lot is a hard worker? Yeah. At Virgo. She's a Virgo. Virgos oh. are very hard workers. I've noticed that. Okay. Yeah. Her voice is an instrument. It's uh, unreal, really. Oh. 
Thing because okay. I watched a lot of it. It was a long performance. Okay, okay. 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 I watched most. <laughs> Mariah is the queen vocalist, and so I think um, I can sing pretty high. But she has a bigger range than I do. She can sing a lot lower. But well, no, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, I I love her so much as a vocalist. Vision of Love was one of the first songs I heard when I was a kid, where I heard all of these these riffs, and I was like, how does she do that? In so short amount of times, the amount of notes she could squeeze in in that one little bar, two bars, was fascinating to me. And that's kind of when I started trying it. And this is something that I love to do in my music, but she completely inspired. notes Mariah Carey was hitting I was like oh god like it's insane oh, shit. like I didn't know like, <laughs> But I'm looking at a concert on TV right now of a certain singer, you put in quotes, and asking myself, what happened to your voice? Sometimes the gimmick goes too far. One day you go to sing and realize it ain't happening. <laughs> this is making my throat hurt. Yes. We talking to Mariah? We were talking to a singer and I didn't name the singer. Name in. Mariah. But the tweet was tweeted that way uh -huh. for a reason. If I wanted to name the person, I would have named them, but that was suddenly hard to see. You're taking the light, letting the shadows inside swiftly. I know that there's a place up above where no my heart is struggling, free of all atrocities and suffering. Because I feel the unconditional love for one who cares enough for me to erase all my burdens and let me be free to fly like a bird, take to the sky. I need you now, Lord, carry me high.